Hi, I'm Tim from LapsandShutter.com and in this video we're going to cover what to do if your Bush TV won't turn on and these six possible fixes. So the first fix is to try power cycling your TV. It's often the best way to, uh, to fix any TV as it will clear out any issues with non-permanent memory and reset your main board without losing your personal settings. So make sure your TV is switched off and unplug it. Hold down the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Wait for at least two minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors. And then plug your TV back in and try switching it on. Although this seems a very basic step, don't overlook it, because in the vast majority of cases, a simple soft reset fixes most issues. There's also a possibility that a poorly seated HDMI cable is automatically switching inputs on your TV and so it looks like your TV isn't working. Take out any HDMI cables and then just try switching it on using the power button on the TV itself. If it's now coming on, then that means the external connections are a problem and you should try reseating your HDMI cables one by one or switching off HDMI CAC, which um, could be causing the issue. If you're only using your TV remote, then make sure that it doesn't have low batteries. Try the power button on the TV itself. There's also a possibility that um, one of the buttons, such as a power button on the remote is stuck. And so it's sending a constant power on or off signal to the TV. And that's causing your TV not to come on and not to respond to any button presses on the TV itself. So just try taking the batteries out of the remote and then using the power button on the TV itself to switch it on. Although you might think that um, your TV won't come on because of a, an issue with the TV itself, uh, it's often because of a household power issue rather than, rather than a problem with the TV. So um, make sure that your wall socket is supplying sufficient voltage, um, remove any surge interrupters or smart plugs. Surge interrupters um, are a common cause of TVs not coming on. So make sure that there's a, a direct line of sight between your wall socket and TV. You can also try using a wall socket on the other side of the room. Um, and also make sure to look for damage to the power cord. So you, in particular looking for kinks and knots in the power cord. And if you have a replacement available, uh, try that. You should also have a look at the power connector on your TV and confirm that the port's free from corrosion, dirt and dust. Now if your TV is not turning on but the standby light is on, then the issue is either a more serious one, so likely to either be a main board or power board failure, or possibly a backlight failure. Um, either the TV is, is coming on but it doesn't appear to be because the backlight has failed, or a failure in one of the LEDs in the backlight uh, is, is causing the main board to send a signal to not allow the TV to come on um, to prevent any further damage. So just to make sure your TV um, is really not turning on, you can uh, follow your normal process of switching on your TV and then get right up close to the screen and point the light of your phone at the screen Try changing the channels with your remote or going into the menu and see if you can see some very faint images on the TV screen itself. If you can do, then that just means that the backlight has failed um, and it's very easy to replace yourself. You can check out the linked article below um, for steps on how to do this. If you're not seeing anything and you're not hearing any sound in the TV, then you should uh, open up your TV and you can use a multimeter just to check the main board, the power board and the T-con. Um, and you should hopefully find um, a failed component somewhere. You can have a look for um, any signs of a burnt component, any, any signs of burning on the PCBs. Uh, if you find any, then you can replace the component yourself, either using um, a soldering iron or you can just buy a new board off eBay. Um, but there's more steps, more tips on how to do that in the linked article below.